guys, welcome back to Shade Spill. Today we are going to be talking about Shane Dawson because him and Ryland Adams have announced that they have chosen an egg donor as part of the process of becoming fathers. And fans are concerned that Shane is about to be a parent very soon, so let's talk about it. Shane and Ryland has spoken about wanting to become parents in past videos, and on Ryland's podcast, Ryland talked about the surrogacy process, finding an egg donor and the legal work and all the hurdles that are part of the process. But it seems like Ryland and Shane have made their way through most of the hurdles because recently on March 27th, Shane and Ryland uploaded a video on Ryland's channel titled, Having a Baby, The First Step, and they announced that they have selected the egg donor who is having their baby. <laughs> I did see people asking. I know it's kind of in this vlog, but we kind of also went just right over it. Did we choose an egg donor? We chose an egg donor. It was very strange to click purchase on our child's mother. We filmed the process, not for YouTube, but just like, you know, we've been filming more stuff for our kid. Maybe when they turn 18, if they have a sense of humor, they can laugh at it. Uh, you know, just us pressing purchase. We bought your mommy. I told my therapist about that and she uh, was like, you're really going to show them that? And I was like, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> People are concerned for a number of reasons, one being the obvious, Shane Dawson looking after a child considering what he's been accused of in the past. Basically Shane got cancelled after people rediscovered an episode on his previous podcast of a story of Shane's first sexual experience with his cat. Yes you heard that right with his cat. Here is what Shane said in his podcast and trigger warning, this is disturbing. No, my dogs would really never... needy guy. <laughs> no, the things I've done to my poor animals, they will never love me. Mm. The terrible things. I used to... Oh, <laughs> oh, no. I don't know if you want to go there, Shane. What'd you do? <laughs> One time, I laid my cat down on her back. Are you going to get arrested for this? I don't... I don't know. No. Think about it. Mm. I don't think so. Okay, go ahead. I didn't penetrate. <laughs> I laid the cat down on her back, I and then I, I moved her little chicken legs, like you know, spread open or whatever. And I was like, if I just like hump, but like on her tummy, like that's not weird, like whatever. And then I humped and I humped and I humped and it kept going, kept going, and I came all over the cat. No, you did not. It was like my first sexual experience. No I was also way. like 19, <laughs> so it's like, you know. Wait a minute. Wait a second, did you just say you came on a cat? Guys, I think I have to put money in the meter. Yeah, right? <laughs> Shane also got exposed for saying all these horrific things about children. This child was probably six years old, and um, I was taking a picture of something, and the kid turns to me and goes, oh, are you Instagramming? And first of all, how does a five-year-old, six-year-old know what Instagram is? Right. Which is terrifying. Mm -hmm. Second of all, I was embarrassed, because yes, I was, and it was a picture of my salad. <laughs> and the six-year-old girl goes, um, oh, how many followers do you have? I have 125,000. No. It's almost as big as mine. Really? And I said, okay, little big why do you have so many followers? And she goes, oh, I'm a cheerleader. And I'm like, oh, really? And she shows me her Instagrams, which are like, first of all, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but like, she's like, see. Now back to the video where they announced that they're having a baby, Shane and Ryland, explained their plans and here is what they had to say. Let's talk about. Have you shown the footage of us trying to have a baby? Or is that going in this video? Yeah. Is it too much? This is the baby <laughs> video. This is like the actual start of us trying to have a child. Which, listen, we also need to figure that out because I don't want my baby on the internet. The thought of us having a baby and then like posting a video or a picture with a baby in it and like comments being mean, I don't want my baby to grow up and see that. So like, are we just gonna put emojis over the baby's face? Are we gonna pretend like the baby doesn't exist? Are we gonna blur the baby out? No, vlogs aren't gonna be centered around the child, but they will still involve us being parents. Which, no judgment to anybody that has their babies in their videos. I just feel like people hate me too much to risk people starting to hate my baby. Like, cancel me, but don't cancel my baby. Like, come for me, but don't come for my womb. I as soon as people heard about Shane and Ryland's plans, people went off. I'm genuinely not being rude to be honest, but I am scared for that child. Am I allowed to call CPS preemptively? All I'm gonna say is, I pray for that poor child. They're worried about their baby growing up and seeing rude comments when they should be more worried about the child seeing Shane act perverted for views on the internet. Some people are hoping this was clickbait, but I really don't think it is. Now that the two have found their egg donor, it's possible that their baby could be born before the end of the year. Thus far though, they have not announced a firm due date, and it's unclear whether their donor is pregnant yet or not. For now, the baby's due date is going to remain something of a mystery, 
but Shane and Ryland are likely to keep fans updated as they move through the process. So what are your thoughts on Shane and Ryland having a baby and becoming parents? Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments below. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another upload, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.